Hey guys, this is Zach from Moto Crane, and in this video we're going to walk through our two newest power accessories for Moto Crane Ultra, the UPC and the 12VA. So first things first, what are the UPC and the 12VA? These two accessories were designed to eliminate the common headaches and hassles that are sometimes associated with working with a 48 volt high discharge power source, which is required by Moto Crane Ultra. And instead, the UPC and the 12VA allow for delivering all those high power demands from really common power sources like V-mount batteries or from the vehicle's own 12-volt battery. So these two accessories are perfect for all of our customers who travel, as well as our customers that are using Ultra on a semi-permanently modified or permanently modified camera car vehicle. So let's talk about how the UPC and the 12VA work. The, the UPC is really a bit of electrical engineering magic in that what it does is that it stores power within the UltraCat power core from a low power input like V-mount batteries or the 12VA. And what that allows for is instead of all of the power coming from those V-mount batteries or the 12-volt car battery, the power core itself is actually delivering all of the current required by Ultra when you're doing those big arm moves at 70 miles an hour. A couple of common questions we get asked about the UPC and the 12VA. Does the UPC work with every kind of V-mount battery? And the answer is yes. The V-mount batteries that we use on these are never asked for more than about seven or eight amps of power, which every single V-mount battery on the market can deliver at least 10 amps of continuous power. So the request and the draw from the V-mount batteries here is pretty small relative to even powering big camera packages. And in that same vein, the 12VA never draws more than about 30 amps of power from the vehicle's own battery, which is a relatively small amount of power compared to the almost two and a half kilowatts that the UPC can deliver. And the reason that's important is because you don't want to be dealing with a high draw accessory like this, causing potentially premature battery or alternator failure on your permanently or semi-permanently modified camera vehicle. Now on the top of the UPC, you can see that we have just four common V-mount battery sleds. Um, over on this side here, we have all of our charge input controls. So we can select whether we're using the battery array on top here or going to an auxiliary input like the 12VA. And you can do this hot swap. So in the middle of your shoot, if you're running off of the 12 volt car battery and you wanna swap over to V-mounts, you can just flip the switch as long as you have V-mounts installed. So next to the charge input selector switch, you also have the on off switch. And that just simply turns on and off whether or not the V mounts or the 12V are actually charging the UPC. Also on the front of the UPC, you have the ultra cap disconnect switch. And currently in this off state, the power core is completely open circuit, meaning that none of the power core components are actually connected, which is how you wanna transport this for safety. Um, and again, that just makes sure that everything is off on the inside. Um, next to that, we have our LED indicators, calm, charge, and ready. And then underneath that, we have our output, which goes directly to the existing Moto Crane PSU main power input. So let's get into actually setting up the UPC. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually attach my V-mount batteries. So as I'm connecting these, these are 98 watt hour V-mount batteries, which are perfectly flight safe. And using these four V-mounts, I'm gonna get at least four hours of runtime uh, out of the UPC. You know, why do I say at least? Uh, depending on how active the arm moves are has a drastic impact on how long these batteries are gonna last. Um, we've done a lot of data gathering and for moderate use, we're looking at roughly 100 watt hours per hour of consumption for Ultra. So again, that translates to basically these four flight safe batteries are gonna be delivering enough power for running Ultra for about four hours. So now that I have my V-mount batteries connected, I'm ready to actually start charging the UPC. And all that I'm gonna do is make sure that my battery array is selected for my charge input. I'm gonna turn my charge input on, and then I'm gonna connect my caps. Now when I do that, what's happening is the UPC is now being charged by the V-mount batteries, which means that power is going from these batteries and being stored within the UltraCat power core. So that when I get to connecting to the PSU, all that big high power demand is gonna come from the UPC and the V-mounts simply replenish that amount of energy that's used over a longer period of time. While my UPC is charging, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the 12VA. 
So we have a common 12 volt car battery here on the table. Normally this would be within the engine bay or located somewhere within the vehicle. We, have, we obviously have it here just so that we can show the wiring. Um, and all that I'm going to do on my 12VA, you can see there's two sides. Um, I have a 12 volt input side and then a 48 volt output side. I'm going to take my included cable and simply connect this. And once I get the 48 volt side connected, this is going to be my on off switch here for delivering charge power to the UPC. Now that I have the 12VA connected, I'm just going to turn it on with the switch I showed you earlier. And I'm showing about 12 and a half volts, which is normal for a 12 volt car battery. But on the output side, I'm actually delivering 48 volts to this input now to the UPC. So if I wanted to, I can just swap right over to that. And instead of charging the UPC from the battery array, I can now use the 12VA as a charge input. So now that I have my V-mount batteries connected, as well as the 12VA connected, which I can do either or, I don't need to be using both of these, but for the sake of the demonstration, I have them both connected. Um, I can now connect the UPC to the Moto Crane power supply unit. And I'm going to do that with this cable that's included. And I just plug this right in to the output of the UPC. And then to the same main power input that I would have been using on the PSU with a big lithium battery or whatever I was using before the UPC and the 12VA. So now that my UPC is charged and showing me the ready indicator light, I'm ready to now power up my Motocrane PSU. Now, another exciting part of the UPC accessory is that it includes new firmware for the Motocrane controller that gives it new monitoring and diagnostics features for the UPC and the 12VA. So you can see on boot up I have my same home screen, but then when I go to diagnostics I get this UPC icon. And when I go into the UPC submenu, you can see that I'm able to monitor each of these batteries individually. Right now, each of these batteries are X'd out because I've selected my 12V as a charge input. But if I want to be monitoring my V mounts, I can go to my battery array for charge input and instantly they come online. So now, with the battery array selected, I'm replenishing the UPC power from the V mounts and not the 12VA. This is just sitting dormant right now. So again, you can either use the V mount or the 12VA. They're not used in conjunction with one another. You select that with this input source. So then as I do moves with the controller, you can actually see the battery levels and how each of the batteries are, are replenishing the power within the UPC. I'm also able to see how much energy is stored within the UltraCap power core. I can see my charge monitor over here. So this gives me information about the volts and the amps coming in for charging. As well as over here, I'm able to see thermal information for how hot or cold my ultra capacitors are within the UPC. Another cool feature that's added is when I switch from my battery array to my 12VA, you can see that my battery input voltage meter actually changes. So if I go to my battery array, and you can see my batteries are now online, when I go to, say, the operate page, I'm still getting this unique battery indicator, which shows me the levels of each of the V-mounts on the battery array. So with the new features added to the Moto Crane controller, as well as the new options to use V-mounts or the 12-volt car battery, we're really adding new levels of versatility to Moto Crane Ultra. Just like you can use whatever stabilized head is best or whatever vehicle is best, you can now choose which power solution is best. So whether you're traveling or building a permanent camera car, both the UPC and the 12VA are great options. Again, I'm Zach from Moto Crane. Thanks for watching.